five four three two one and we are live great evening great evening everybody uh, this is dr larry white senior reporting live from the dr larry white senior show so before i get going everybody uh before we bring on our amazing vip guests we are live on facebook live at dr larry white senior i'm going to share this broadcast out to all of my entrepreneurial groups because we have a we got a, we have a great conversation tonight so bear with me while i share this out in these entrepreneurial groups Hi, Dr. Kenesha. How are you? I am doing great, my friend. Much better now that I'm on with you and the audience. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do they have a treat tonight? Um, I, I've been looking forward to this. <clears throat> pardon me. I've been looking forward to this interview for um, a, a couple of couple of weeks, maybe close to a month. But it is time. And so without further ado, um, and let me just make sure I got it in my, and I will tell you this doc, uh, I would love for you to consider, um, joining our mastermind group. Um, and we'll talk a little offline on that. All right, everybody, let me, y'all come on in, come on in. We got a woman of God in here. Come on, come on, share it out. Give us some likes. We getting ready to get down to it. All right. A couple of PSA, um, public service announcements I want to just make before we get to our amazing VIP uh, guest tonight. Shout out to the people in Houston, Texas. That was amazing. I had a great time. I tell people I have um, the best job in the world because I get a chance to network. Um, you know, I got these books out here, you know, about five number one books. I really appreciate all of you all. And um, to God be the glory. Amen. So shout out to Houston, Texas, the team out there. And then this past weekend, Atlanta. I was down in the A, everybody. And um, what a great time to see uh, a, a plan come into fruition. And shout out to Rashawn um, Ellis. Uh, she received a Mastermind Leadership Award with Urban, Be Ra Urban Beats Radio 2. You all just showed up and showed out. Courtney Lee Smith. Everybody, I love y'all. Share the broadcast and uh, give us some hearts and likes and love. All right. I will, I'm going to read a brief bio of this amazing woman because she's going to tell us a little bit about who she is <clears throat> after we bring her up. Dr. Kenesha has served in public education for the last 22 years as a teacher, ele elementary administrator, and elementary school principal. She currently serves in the role of principal on assignment in Victor Elementary School District as she supports the district with self, leadership, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I just got to tell you, with everything that's going on, that's absolutely amazing and so much needed. You like a Swiss Army knife, you can go in several directions. You don't need no questions. You are so prepared. So I'm going to keep on reading the, your brief bio. It ain't brief, but I'm going to just cut it a little bit. <laughs> uh, she received two bachelor's degrees in speech communications from LSU and ministry. Dr. Kenesha also received her master's degree in education and a doctorate in organ organizational leadership from Brandon University, Brand Brandman University. She, she then turned to graduate school where she accelerated through the master's program and received a second doctorate degree wow, in ministry uh, in August of 2020 with that 4.0 GPA. Woo, doc, you shine and you smooth. I'm gonna skip down to the fourth paragraph of that. And it says, Dr. Kenesha is the CEO and founder of Transform Nation Training and Development LLC. She's a speaker, coach, trainer, teacher, writer, just to name a few. God has blessed her with the gift of education, leadership, the art of connection and transparency. I love that. Here's my favorite, what I love about uh, our sister here. She recently released her first children's book series, Better Together, which is a three book series that supports the message diversity through titles, I Know Me, I See You, and I appreciate we. Wow. Dr. Kenesha, welcome to the Dr. Larry Wade Senior Show. How are you tonight? Oh, doing fabulous. Excited to be here and, and adding value to other people. It's what I've been born to do. Listen, I want to tell you a, a quick story that you already know why you motivate me. So I was talking to my buddy. He was like, Dr. White, would you join um, the Maxwell team? I was like, man, I don't know if I got five G's right there like that. Uh, maybe more now. But one of the things I will say that his story, being a former pastor and his buddies telling him, you know, you should get into this leadership. I just love what John Maxwell is doing. And you are very polished. All of the Maxwell speakers that I see are very, very polished. And shout out to Ed Reed. Um, we toured together and um, 
what I like to do is kind of mimic some of the things he's doing. Like um, y'all had a workshop with John Maxwell called Put Your Dreams Into Success. You remember that one? So I have a tour called Deposit Your Dreams Into Success. What are we depositing here? So we we have read a brief bio, but for those who may not know exactly who you are personally and professionally, dig a little deeper, uh, Dr. Kenesha, tell us who you are uh, personally and professionally. Yeah, so I am a Southern girl from Louisiana. Shout out to mom, Linda, <laughs> and my three siblings, love them. Uh, so I, all you have to say about me is that I'm a daughter of the king. That That's the absolute, absolute most important theme is that I'm a daughter of Christ. Uh, I believe in the Lord and my base, my boundary, my center, my circumference, everything in my life is founded upon the chief cornerstone and his name is Jesus. So, so that's the most important thing about me. I had the pleasure of serving um, for 22 years, as you said, in public education. Um, and I just love adding value to people. Now, if you talk to my family, they're going to tell you, I just love talking truth. But now I've connected talking to purpose. So now they're aligned going forward. And God just began to stir me back. I joined the um, now Maxwell Leadership Certified Team. Uh, we just rebranded ourselves. And I joined back in 2019. And what was interesting is I wasn't looking for the team necessarily. I was looking for that second doctorate degree because I heard the Lord say, it's time to go back and now pursue a Christian doctorate. But what was interesting is upon my journey there, I stumbled into what at the time was the John Maxwell team. So went back and forth on the calls. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And I was sitting at a leadership conference for my church. I'm a leader of my church. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, I want you to join this team and do it now. And so the rest of that is history. From joining the team, I sat at that conference August of 2019 and I wept for three days. Because I knew that destiny had met timing, right? Um, there was the Paga, the Kronos and the Kairos met and kissed. And from that point on, um, there's been now a refining of purpose and destiny. And so I went from just uh, being a person that had a bunch of stuff to this place of significance, right? Not just success, but significance. Having both of them is even better. I, I got it. We have a lot of synergy. I have an honorary doctorate degree from WWMI uh, uh, Bible and Seminary School, and my dissertation um, was on Christianity. So it's really awesome. And and then you just talked about purpose. This seems to be the way uh, this weekend on being on tour. Uh, I wrote a book. It's back here. Um, it's called Operating in Excellence: Pain, Purpose, and Position. Because I believe, and I know it will happen, when I lost my parents. Mm -hmm. The Lord will see while you're walking this earth that you go through some pain. And sometimes you have to go through that pain to wake you up. Uh, the Lord will get you there. And then that pain will lead you to your purpose. That purpose will lead you to be in the position to do God's work and use your yeah. God-given talents. We all have purpose. And I, I got to say, um, you, you hit it up right on the head there. And we've been talking about that purpose because it took me 30 years to find my purpose. Right. And I thought I was this great IT guy. But really, my purpose was power networking, uh, leadership, uh, empowerment, inspiration and entrepreneurship. So that's what I do. That's what this show is about. And I just want to say um, shout out to everybody rocking with me for three years. It is not easy to get Dr. Kenesha L. Williams on your show. It is difficult. She's a very productive person. No, I did not say busy. So I appreciate her uh, taking the time. And shout out to the production folks. You know who you are for doing an amazing flyer. I was told I cannot mention the names, but thank you so much for uh, all of the new branding that you've done for me, marketing, branding, and advertising. Thank you so much. All right, we're still in the middle of COVID-19. Um, Dr. Kanisha, tell us, uh, uh, what, what have you been doing? What have you been up to during COVID-19? Like, it started off rough. Business owners were closing their doors. People needed PPP loans just to kind of pay the bills. What have you been up to in these two and a half years of COVID-19? So that's a great question. And, and the first thing I'm going to say is intentional growth. Yes. Dr. John C. Maxwell says everything rises and falls on leadership. So there's, there's this leadership capacity. So I knew that if I was going to go forward, I could not focus just on the pandemic and COVID and all of the, the devastation that was brought because of this pandemic.
But instead, I was intentional about growing Kenesha to become a better person. Because when I have value in, the more value in, the more value out. And that was right after, remember I told you I joined the team in 2019. So God had already been stirring some things. And I had launched my first mastermind, January 7th, 2020, pre-COVID. And then when COVID hit, I thought, okay, I'm going to stop. And the spirit of the Lord said, who said so? Get your tail on Zoom and keep doing what I've called you to do. It's a matter of focus, Dr. White. Am I focusing on the pandemic or am I focusing on the promise? Focusing on him first and in him therein lies the promise. So I mean, I leaned in and I leaned in hard to growing myself. And then anybody that would listen to me, and I mean that literally. Anybody that would listen, I would bring them into that orbit of their own personal growth. And I can't tell you the number of ministries that were launched, of people who joined masterminds, businesses that were launched, talk shows that were launched. And it's not me. That's not the point. The point is when we're leaning in to grow ourselves, going after him, we already know that's the foundation, but allowing him to share with us our purpose. I call that discovering your purpose. When the focus is in the right place, then there's forward movement. So I launched my business family in COVID-19. April of 2020, what was not there before in manifestation, it was in my belly from what the scripture says before I was born, before anybody knew me, he had already implanted. And guess what? It's the same for you viewers out there. Your purpose is in you before you were born. So the question, now we're coming out of it, but the question still is, are we focusing on pain Pandemic, are we focusing on him? And with him, we're focusing then on purpose. So that's what I did. I added value to me and anybody that would listen, I went around adding value to them by way of mastermind and coaching. Well, we can end the show right there. That's a mic dropper. I, I mean, I, I was searching for something because this is divine connection. So during the pandemic, oh, I apologize. What my national chair says, I can't say the pandemic. I have yes. to say COVID-19 because yes. no pandemic. Yes. But I wanted to, you talk about leaning in. I wrote this book, When Men Lean In, We All Win. Um, revitalization, education, and representation. Black men, right? So you're saying these words that are just more divine connection of leaning in, birthed in your belly. Wow. And I'm just sitting here like pain, purpose, and position. And, and I was going to get these because as you're speaking, and I told you I'm a big fan. I watch you. You're amazing. You get all this great leadership. So sometimes, you know, like when I'm speaking, I'm just this vessel just trying a little guy from Gary, Indiana, trying to make it or whatever. But like yourself, my family will be like, oh, give him a microphone. He won't stop talking. And so even um, in Atlanta, uh, they were like, Dr. White, do we get another lecture? Well, they're not like really lectures. They're like Jesus talked to the uh, disciples in parables and he was giving them stories because they didn't believe in him. So I'll be giving the team stories to say this is why this isn't happening. But if you do this. But I got to tell you, Dr. Kenesha, you are amazing. That. I mean, because when I went into um, COVID-19, I was already working for home. Uh, I was already doing Zoom. So I kind of didn't have to pivot like a lot of people. I was already ready. My very short first show of, of, of the Dr. Larry White Senior Show was three years ago. I had just turned 50. And um, I had Johnny Gill on my show. I had Stacey Ladisall. I had Mark Clark. Uh, Mark Clark is our uh, big ticker at Frank Ski up here in Maryland. And I um, only did one show in the in the studio one show because all they could offer me was Facebook Live. Well, I can do that from home. I do miss the in-person studio stuff, but I will say I, I went virtually, virtual I should say, and it was able to kind of rebound the new norm as they say. But I just got to tell you, you're absolutely right. And what we're talking about here today, everybody, with this beautiful woman of God, several uh, PhDs, a couple, uh, several PhDs, several masters, bachelors. And I have to tell you, my wife is an educator, 27 years. I love my educators. So shout out to you. And we do have an education committee in our mastermind group. If you have a little bit more time on your plate, we won't have to have you spend a lot of time with us. But even if you hung out with us a couple of times a year, we do black tie galas, we do fundraisers, we do, we, we adopted a title one school in South Carolina to give um, backpacks and things. So it's a lot of good things. That's just a selfless plug there. Um, Dr. Kini said that if you would consider joining our mastermind group, but we'll talk offline. I have her contact uh, information. You do have to uh, 
give a few shout outs, uh, Doc. So let me tell you who you need to say hello to. You need to say hello to Pele out of South Carolina. Hey, Pele, South Carolina in the house. Sharon Hill out of Chicago. Sharon Hill, Chi-Town. One of my friends from Fresh Life Ministries is in Chi-Town right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Reverend Dr. Claire Peters, uh, my mastermind uh, teammate. Reverend Dr. Claire Peters out of Houston, Texas. Reverend Dr. Clara Peters, Houston, Texas. My little brother's there right now. Say hi. Oh, wow. And also uh, Kay Wright. Kay Wright. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We were just in Atlanta. Dr. Carla Maria is in the building. Say hello to Dr. Carla Maria. Uh, Dr. She's Carla Maria is in the building. Hello, Dr. Carla. Listen, amen, amen, everybody. Keep on giving us likes, giving, giving us some hearts. And I want y'all to know got to go in somebody's inbox and be intentional in connecting with someone not like-minded but like-hearted how about that um so to get this beautiful woman on god of god to share some golden nuggets so let's get a little deeper in some questions okay doc uh there's a lot of hurt and pain going on um my prayers are with ukraine i mean it's like a lot of things going on um so disturbed about the will smith um chris rock situation i was uh around 30 black men last night 15 african-american women and my buddy passed out and so many blacks men were just there and the sisters and so as we are still in for one more day women's history month i just want folks to know whatever you see on the news there's more important things like ukraine as opposed to this chris rock uh will smith stuff just dominating things which we have more things to think about starting different groups. So tell us, um, Dr. Kenesha, if someone is struggling to start a business, write a book, but COVID-19 has just stole their dreams and they're, they're stuck, what encouraging advice would you give someone to start that LLC, start that LLP, birth that book? What advice would you give them if they're struggling and just don't know how to get there? So it all starts up here between our two ears. Doesn't start with the LLC paperwork. It doesn't start with people servicing your business. It starts between these two ears. So the work is always, family, listen, if you don't hear anything else that I said, the work always starts on the inside. The scripture talks about that, Romans 12. We have to, Romans 12, we have to renew our mind. We can't be conformed to the world. That The world is in a frenzy. The world is in a panic. The world is majoring on the minors. Not so with us. So the first thing I would say is get the vision in your mind. I mean, solid in your mind by visualization, by prayer, and, and be clear about the value that you have to add to this world. Because here's, here's the bottom line. Nobody in the world is going to come and add value to you that you don't already have first. No one in the world is going to come and pay you what you're worth if you don't know your own worth first. So it's not about the, new, the ins and the outs of the business, which is important. They are all important. But the absolute most important thing about your business is you and what you think about you and your clarity around your vision. Once you get that, then you're ready for the other nuts and bolts because now it has a strong foundation to be sustained. We will be eaten up in the public if we don't know who we are first. Amen. Uh, very well said. Um, you know, it's hard to, you can't disagree with that. It, and I agree with you, the mindset. Um, I never thought I'd be an author, uh, let alone a best-selling author. But I told myself if I just wrote one book and dedicated it to my wife and my children and my grandchildren, at least I have a legacy to leave them. Um, but I believe in myself. Uh, God makes no junk. Uh, I always say, Self-preservation is the first law of nature. My mother used to say that to me. And, and it's all about taking care of self, because if you're not taking care of yourself, that self-care, time management, I say it a lot, you can't be good for other folks. All right, a few more questions. I got a few more. They're going to be nice. I'm learning myself here tonight. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your business. Tell us the name of your company and tell us what was your vision behind starting your company? Yeah, so you'll see it behind me partially, uh, the parts that my head and body that covering is Transform Nation Training and Development LLC. And that was birthed out of my testimony. You mentioned that earlier, Dr. White, um, because I just struggled in life. So don't be fooled about the exterior. Don't be fooled about what you see on social media. Your girl has been through some things. 
and I've made mistakes. Not just things done to me, things that I have done and, and unwise choices that I've made. So there was this season of time where I just went through this public embarrassment because of the person right here, Kenesha. And, and God really cleaned me up and brought me through like this transformation based upon him, Jesus Christ. I've been saved a Christian for many, many years since a little girl. But there's a difference from salvation and transformation, right? Which is called sanctification. So as I went through this transformation, I said, this is what the world needs. So I do that. I add value to the world by way of leadership training, development. Um, and my, my specific target uh, is leaders and aspiring leaders. Why? Because the organization, whether that's ministry, school district, prof, for-profit, nonprofit, it doesn't matter. That business entity only goes, and I referenced this earlier, to the top of where that leader is. It's called the leadership lid. So if I'm at a nine out of 10, then I can draw sevens, eights, and nines, right? They're going to submit to my leadership. If I'm a two, but I have an LLC, folks are not coming. So my, my desire is to add value to leaders because I know that leaders then go out and multiply value to others. I also coach people because one-on-one -on -one coaching is probably the most effective way and all things being equal, we're not talking about direct prayer with God, that someone changes because now it focuses and anchors on that individual. And, and now we bring just theory, now theory, because you can get theory in a training all day long. That's why the training industry is multi-billionaire industry, but ask how much change is happening. Not much. So, so I have vowed to have authenticity, transparency, but I'm wanting people to actually transform, not just pay for a training to transform, but bigger than just the people in my neighborhood. I know that God has called me to the nations. So that's why he gave transformation because I'm to add value to this world by helping leaders to get to their next level. And then they go out and add value to the people under their influence. And simply that's what I do. Well, I got to tell you, Doc, checks in the mail. Where do I sign up? I mean, um, as leaders, we all need um, coaches. We need mentors. Uh, I have a couple of mentors. Shout out to Dr. Pamela Reeves. Shout out to Karen Marie Austin. You all are tough on me, and I'm glad I am making y'all proud. Um, looks like we got a couple more shout outs. <laughs> Marlo Prelo out of Atlanta says, well said. Say hello to Marlo. Hey, Marlo. Um, Solomon Campbell, my next door neighbor. Wow. Uh, last night around this time, you know what happened. Uh, we ended up in the emergency room. Um, I'm glad God has you on this broadcast and God pulled us through. Um, thank you, brother. Thank you, God. Shout out to Affilion last night, all the staff, the paramedics, y'all were there. And I'm, I'm glad to see you well, uh, Solomon. I love you, brother. Uh, Pele, I got to say hello to you again and all these folks. And um, Dr. Carla Marie talks about what you mentioned, clarity. I mean, these are some really sharp folks. And I, I got to tell you, when I tell them, I said, each week I get a chance to interview some amazing person. Man, I need some more men on the show. Y'all be golfing all the time. And in the bowling league, the women just keep on, you know, making us look bad. But we're here to help each other. You, you, you're very transparent. And I, I tell people all the time, it's like we're twins. You're like that sister. Um, you know, I've made several mistakes in my life. I gave my life to Christ when I was about nine, somewhere around there. Made several mistakes. But I'm transparent. I made a mistake the other day and I owned up to it. I'm like, hey, I blew it, y'all. And I said, I, I love me some me because I threw myself under the bus and like, yeah, Mr. Perfect to try to be like Jesus. I blew it. But, you know, I get up and I keep trying. I keep yes. trying. So I thank you for being transparent and just really letting people know, you know, because you said, like you said, not this outside, but the interior piece mm -hmm. telling you, you show up, sis, I mean, you show up. Just a couple more questions before we get our beautiful sister. We're talking with Dr. Kenesha L. Williams, um, transformation coach, transformation company. Uh, she's a, you know, clergy. I like to call her clergy. Uh, just amazing. John C. Maxwell certified speaker. So if y'all need some coaching, uh, talk. And also, I can see the chat over here. If y'all have some questions for Doc, let me know, and we'll get the questions answered. But I'm going to keep going with this interview. All right. 
So I ask this question every week uh, because I've been through a lot myself. I have been through a lot and I am I would not change a thing. That stuff I went through, it helped me be the man I am today and um, work in progress every day. Amen. Shout out to my granddaughter over there that always wants to shout. Um, tell us a time where things got really rough, um, where you have to persevere through tough times and become that successful woman you are today. Like, I don't know who you were 20 years ago. But when I see this transformation woman of God that listens to you and helping, tell us a little bit about where times got a little rough. You have to persevere through that and be the successful woman and entrepreneur and author you are today. Yeah, so I, I can think of the time that the, the real transforming moment or season for me was when I made a, a, a mistake. And, and then it was be, made public. And as a believer, it was a moral failure. And so I remember having to stand up and owning it and had lost all position. And so, of course, we know that the enemy's like, your life is over. Die, 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 die. And those people who know me intimately, I'm a pretty strong person, as I'm sure you can tell my personality. You know, I just am. And I remember sitting on the side of my bed with the knife in my hand, ready to, to end it. Be, so I actually experienced what we call hopelessness for the first time in my life. And this was just a few short years ago. And so, so from that moment, it, it was like literally the Holy Spirit came over and said, I've been waiting for all of these years for you to be in, for you to be done with that. And I was Dr. Kenesha by the time. Let me just tell you that I've been waiting for Dr. Kenesha to learn how to submit all so I can make you to whom I have always not man not woman, not position, not figures, not Mercedes, not you, own, none of that. Who have I called you to be? So that was my transforming experience. It probably lasted where I was in isolation when I say that, meaning I went to work, I went to church, I came home, and that's essentially all that I did. And I went to the gym and worked out. So so the, the, the go, having fun, all of that, there had to be a season of, again, transformation inside out. Because on the outside, we can be doing well, folks. We can be doing very well on the outside. But if we don't steward our inside, we could be dying. And we know that if you are a believer, and if you're not, please jump on and, and, and become one. If you're a believer, there's a place that we're going after this. But how many of you know we can be in hell on earth? Going to heaven, but living in hell on the inside. So God brought me through that transformation process. And through that process, I really reevaluated my entire life. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I serving how I'm serving? You know, who are my friends? Why, why am I friends? Do I have my own voice? And if, if I do, what is that? Is it just that I've got a title or, or am I supposed to carry the mantra of the Lord? And for me, he then developed that into the business transformation. But I went, because of that public disgrace, I know that you can get up again and you can get up again and use the pain to push you forward into your purpose and into your destiny. So I've always carried a lot of passion, but, but even the more now, because I've lived on both sides. I lived when it was just public success. And now that I have it on the inside, the public success, right, is now more about significance, about value, and not just about figures. You know what? I'm telling you, you sharp, you sharp, very well said. Um, these folks, uh, Dr. Called Maria, she's very interactive. She's talking about, she's giving you all the likes and hearts, submit and surrender. Um, Marlo, thank you so much. Uh, that's my favorite word, too, outside of Jesus Christ, persevere. We all got to persevere. Um, we've got to get you back on the show um, as much time, as many times as you have time. The virtual realm is very good. Back in the day, we used to have to come into the studio and with gas being four to six dollars a gallon, try to stay home as much as you can. I told my teenage daughter the other day, I said, you just riding around. She was like, what's wrong with that, dad? I'm like, you ain't got no job. You ain't got no gas money. Just riding around, but to do some virtual FaceTime and stuff, filling the tank up every day. I know everybody get an electric car next year, right? <laughs> um, Dr. Kenesha, you have been amazing. You've dropped a lot of golden nuggets. I, I, I'm a big fan. I, I, I tell everybody, and I'm telling y'all today, connect with her. Um, 
just the empowerment, uh, the content that is revealed. And something that you did, I want to give you a shout out. My pastor used to like, we don't do shout outs at the church, Dr. White. I said, you're right, pastor, but sometimes you got to get somebody a shout out. You shared the flyer on your cover to help promote the show. That has never been done. I appreciate that. You know, I'm going to bring the crowd in. They're going to see this amazing woman of God, this amazing leader. But when you did that, that meant a lot to me. I'm like, thank you so much. I was like, okay, okay. I had to shout out to the PR folks that did that amazing flyer. And I, I just, because my other flyers, they didn't look as great. And I was like, I did step up my game. So uh, the PR folks have really been doing a better job with um, my graphics. So shout out to them. Last question of the night, which is almost the most important thing is um, if someone wants to hire you for training, leadership coaching, just to con connect with you, learn more about your business, purchase your book, how can they contact you, Doc? Great question. You can go to my website, www.drkenisha, D-R-K-E-N-I-S-H-A Williams.com. And they can reach out to me there and um, I would love to add value. Absolutely, everybody. Uh, Dr. Kenisha L. Williams, uh, she's been on the show. Almost last question, but I feel something of empowerment that you need to leave us. I mean, we turn on the news, it's rough, you know, it's a lot of bad things happening. What encouraging advice would you give us all as we turn on the news and you see bad things, bad things? Give us all some encouraging words to continue to be successful and follow our dreams. One, stop turning on the news. Simple. That's a choice. Two, steward your gates. Remember, this work is an insight out. What's our gate? It's our eye gate. What am I watching? It's our ear gate. What am I listening to? It's our, the gate of our touch and feel. What am I touching? And it's also our gate with our, with our mouths. What am I ingesting literally with food? And what's coming out? What am I saying? When we steward our gates, we control our peace, folks. So a lot of people are in this dissonance, are in this frustration. They're in angst because we put ourselves there. So the question is, what are we repeating in our mind? Whatever we focus on, we give strength to. And I'm going to tell you this. I need each of you out there to be on your purpose because each of us were born and created with purpose. And this world functions appropriately only when we are each in that thing. So, so, so when you're tempted to focus on other things, control your gates and get on your purpose because I need you. This world needs you. I'm no wonder. I'm just a girl who was on her purpose. And when you get on your purpose, I'm telling you, you're going to be fulfilled more than Chris Rock and Will Smith drama. That can't fulfill you. But you're going to be fulfilled. I promise you. When you lean all the way in, get on your purpose because I and this world needs you. Amen. Amen. I'm lean in. Dr. Carla and everybody's still with us. Um, great golden nuggets drop. Real talk. Amen. Guard your heart. I, I, I just want to say thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kenisha, for joining us tonight. I'm inspired. I'm empowered. I felt I feel spiritually led. We talk about our business being our ministry. Amen. And I thank you so much for just empowering me and everybody else. So we will have you back. You are amazing. It is like what I call Friday evening. I get the granddaughter. Uh, welcome to the weekend. So I'm going to spoil my grandbabies this weekend. And I want you to have a safe and blessed weekend. I will be following you and encouraging you and you'll be encouraging me. And I do want to tell everybody the flyer for Charlotte, North Carolina will be out tomorrow. And so for those speakers that are coming to Charlotte, get ready. That's April 22nd and 23rd. I have a black tie meet and greet that will happen on the 22nd of April, uh, a little icebreaker, and it's at a rooftop in Charlotte. I'm telling you, it's going to be nice. And then we will partner with the African, uh, this is a little off, but it's the African American uh, Film Festival, I believe, that's in Charlotte that we're partnering with for the Deposit Your Dreams into Success with Signature Entrepreneurs and Masterminds. And who knows, 
we may just get Doc as a new member because she has so much, so much added value that she can add to our amazing mastermind team. So shout out to Doc for being on the show. I love her. God bless you and your family. Shout out to Signature Entrepreneurs and Masterminds. And shout out to my beautiful wife and my family, my team, uh, allowing me to travel because I know I'll be gone a lot. But it's all for purpose because I'm leaning in. Like I'll wrap that up, Doc. <laughs> all right. All right. Doc, stay with me. I'm going to close out the uh, uh, the live and then we'll just chat a little bit um, outside of the studio. We love you guys. Have a blessed weekend.